Welcome to Quick Tips. Talmadge Herbert from Hillsborough, Oregon wanted to hang a few things out to dry and he wanted to use his awning. But regular clothespins wouldn't work because the clothes would get twisted and sometimes even dirty from touching the awning. So he decided to glue clothespins together with the heads at opposite ends using super glue. And that's what we're going to do. Now that our clothespins are dry, we can hang up some clothing just by putting one pin on the awning and the other on the edge of the shirt. And then one more side. Here we go. Now it's blowing in the wind. Good idea, thanks Talmadge. If you open your dump valve cap and get a surprise because the valves are seeping a little, Bo Bowman from Lancaster, California has an idea for you. He attached a shutoff valve to his cap so that he opens that valve first in case there's any leaking. Now we have our dump valve cap back on with its new shutoff valve and I just took an old coffee can to place it right underneath so the next time you open that new valve you won't get any surprises. Good idea. Thanks, Bo. Philip Weiss from Joplin, Missouri found an easy way to save his knees and his back when he pulls his jack pads in and out by using his awning rod. All you need to do is drill a hole in each jack pad. And our awning rod fits the hole we drilled just right, so we can slide it right under our jack. And when we're done, we can slide it right out, and it won't hurt your back or your knees. Good idea. Thanks, Philip. John Rinaldi from Henderson, Nevada, came up with an easy way to avoid disconnecting his city water when he wants to flush his tanks by creating a Y valve with shutoffs. We're also going to use two elbows and an extension. In addition, you're going to need an anti-siphon valve, but our coach already has one. Now we're going to put it together. We also added a quick disconnect to our city water hose. Now you've got that connected at all times, but you can just turn off that water and open up the other valve to flush your tanks. Good idea. Thanks, John. And those are your quick tips for this week.